Sweden, a country nestled in the heart of Europe, has unveiled its daunting next-generation fighter jet. This weapon has not only defied the principles of physics, but also eliminates limitations to technological advancements and has taken this country towards a NATO membership. In the face of technological advancement, this Nordic country has surpassed global expectations, established its military prowess, and invested billions of dollars in bolstering its defense system. But what are the features of this futuristic weapon? Is this technology special enough to help Sweden obtain a NATO membership? Join us as we take a journey into the features of the physics-defying jet that is bolstering Sweden's NATO membership. Taking a deeper dive into Sweden's futuristic next-generation fighter jet, this country, located in Northern Europe, has continued to make headway in the development of advanced weapons despite its sparse population. Its dedication to become one of the best countries in terms of military might and its determination to become a member of NATO has encouraged it to increase its budget for the development of weapons with futuristic design. And let's be honest, with all the conflict going on in the world, it is no wonder that countries are exploring ways to expand their military equipment and power. These circumstances have led to the development of a next-generation fighter jet with capabilities that the world has never seen before from Sweden. The Gripen fighter jet has successfully redefined technology advancement in a world of continuous evolution. The Gripen fighter jet, which is also referred to as the Saab JAS-39, is a single-engine, supersonic, multi-purpose fighter that was developed by the Swedish aerospace and defense company Saab AB. It has a delta wing and canard configuration with relaxed stability design and fly-by-wire flight control. Saab stands for the Swedish Aeroplane Corporation. Yes, this is the same Saab that manufactured cars starting in 1997. In 1990, Saab Automotive, along with GM, joined ventures to manufacture the Saab cars in the U.S. And Saab is strictly an aerospace and defense company. Now back to the Gripen. This advanced aircraft can seamlessly cooperate with NATO. Due to this, 271 Gripens and its variant have been successfully produced and delivered as of 2020. In 1979, Sweden embarked on a project to develop a new fighter that would be able to adapt with the increasing technological needs and also to replace its old ones in their air force that date back to the World Wars and was incorporated into the Swedish Air Force in 1996. The upgraded version of this fighter that features better technology and longer mission capability became fully operational in 2003. In order to make it a globally used fighter, Saab collaborated with foreign aerospace companies, which enabled the fighter to be sold to countries in Central Europe, South Africa, and Asia. In 2019, the Gripen underwent some major upgrades. These upgrades include a bigger body, a stronger engine, more weapon capacity, and significant improvements in the cockpit, avionics, electronic warfare system, and more. This upgraded version made its way to the Brazilian Air Force. This fighter is said to be special because it can detect even the most stealth weapon that has been created and deployed. They have the ability to detect low radar cross-section targets even beyond visual range. Most fighter jets do not possess this feature the Gripen's design and armament. Let's start with the most important aspect of its design, which is what powers the fighter jet. As of January 2014, all the Gripen's that were in operation made use of Volvo RM12 turbofan engines, which is a licensed version of the General Electric F404 engine. Over the years, this engine has seen improvements. It has been redesigned to perform better, to be more reliable, and to be more safe. This means less likely to encounter a bird strike. It now meets the requirements for single-engine fighter jet use and for membership to NATO. Various parts were also redesigned to make maintenance easier and to reduce its production and repair costs. The Gripen logged over 143,000 hours of flight without a single engine-related problem in November 2010. This achievement was termed remarkable for a single-engine aircraft, according to Rune Heierfeld, the head of military program management at Volvo Aero. Like the Gripen, early models of the Desoyli Rafa T also used F404 engines before they later switched to the SNECMA M882 engines for the production of the aircraft. This engine was supposed to be used to power the JAS-39C Gripen version and to replace the F404. 
The latest models of the Gripen E and F will use the F415G engine, which is a version of the General Electric F513. This engine has the ability to produce 20% more thrust than the current RM12 that the older versions are powered with. With this new F414G, the fighter jet will be able to fly at the supersonic speed of Mach 1.1 while carrying air-to-air -air combat equipment and performance of the F414G's performance and claimed that it would be a more cost-effective and effective option. The top-notch experience in the cockpit. The main flight controls of the Gripen are designed for easy use with the hands-on throttle and stick principle. The central stick not only steers the aircraft, but also manages cockpit displays and weapon systems. The Gripen utilizes a triplex digital fly-by-wire system for its flight controls with a mechanical backup for the throttle. Other functions like communications, and even decision support data can be accessed through the up the front control panel that can be found just above the central cockpit display. The Gripen has the EP17 cockpit display system created by Saab. It gives pilots a clear understanding of what's happening around them and makes their job easier by smartly managing information. The fighter jet also has sensor fusion, where data from its sensors and databases are combined, analyzed, and presented to the pilot through the heads-up display, three multifunction color displays, and an optional helmet-mounted display system. Among the three multifunction displays, the central one is for navigation and mission data. The displays in the rear seat can work independently from the pilot's display in the front seat. Saab highlights this feature as beneficial for electronic warfare, reconnaissance, and command and control tasks. In May 2010, Sweden started adding new computer systems and displays to their Gripens. These displays can be swapped, and if one fails, the flight information can still be shown on the others. Saab and BAE collaborated to create the Cobra HMDS for the Gripen, inspired by the Stryker HMDS used in the Eurofighter. The Cobra HMDS was fully integrated into operational aircraft and is available for export. It has been added to older Swedish and South African Gripens. The HMDS manages target information, sensor data, and flight details with optional features for night operations and chemical biological filtration. The connections between the HMDS and the cockpit are designed to quickly detach for safe ejection system use. The aircraft's electronic system and detection features. All of the Gripen's electronic systems work together using advanced digital data buses, described as sensor fusion. This complete integration makes the Gripen a programmable plane, meaning it can receive software updates over time to enhance its performance and take on new roles and equipment for its main flight controls on final prototypes and all subsequent planes. The software is regularly updated, providing ongoing improvements and capabilities compared to the earlier Vigan, which received updates only every 18 months. During a mission, a lot of information from the onboard sensors and cockpit activities is digitally recorded. This recorded data can be displayed in the cockpit or easily extracted for a detailed analysis after the mission. The Gripen, like the Vigan, is designed to be part of a networked national defense system. This allows for real-time exchange of information between Gripen aircraft and ground facilities automatically. The fighter jet possesses the world's most sophisticated data link. Its Turn A tactical navigation system combines information from several onboard systems, like the air data computer, radar altimeter, and GPS to continuously calculate the location of the fighter. The Gripen started using the PS-05A radar, which is a versatile radar system developed by Ericsson and GEC Marconi. It was inspired by the advanced Blue Vixen radar. What weapons is the Gripen equipped with? The Gripen can use various weapons, not just its onboard 27mm Mauser BK-27 cannon, which is absent in two-seat versions. It is compatible with AIM-9 Sidewinder for air-to-air, -air, AGM-65 Maverick for air-to-ground, and RBS-15 for anti-ship purposes. The fighter jet got upgraded and disallowed the use of a broader range of weapons, like that long-range MDBA Meteor missile, short-range Iris-T missile, and GBU-49 laser-guided bomb. Edvard Dimamat, the director of Saab's campaign in India, laid emphasis on the fact that Gripen buyers now have the options to choose weapons from various sources, including Israel, Sweden, Europe, South America, and even the United States. While flying, the Gripen can usually carry up to 6,500 kilograms of different weapons and gear. 
This includes external sensor pods for tasks like reconnaissance and target designation, such as Raphael's listening target pod, Saab's modular reconnaissance pod system, or Thales' digital joint reconnaissance pod. The Gripen has a sophisticated electronic warfare system that can work silently or actively jam hostile radar. It also has a missile approach warning system that quietly detects and tracks incoming missiles. Saab announced in November 2013 that it would be the first to offer the Bright Cloud expandable active jammer developed by Celex ES. In June 2014, the Enhanced Survivability Technology Modular Self-Protection Pod, a defensive missile countermeasure pod, had its first flight on the Gripen. Saab calls the Gripen a swing-roll aircraft, which means that it can quickly switch between different tasks with just a button push. The computer adjusts the interface to better deal with new situations and threats. The Gripen is set up to use various communication methods like the Saturn Secure Radio, Link 16, rover, and satellite uplinks. For longer missions, it's equipped with features like an air-to-air -air refueling probe and onboard oxygen generation system, and these were added to the Gripen C and D versions. The unique features of the fighter jet. The Gripen is really good at taking off in a short distance, and it can handle landing on short runways as well. It has features to make this possible, like air brakes on the back and canards that tilt downward to act as additional brakes, reducing the landing distance. Also, it can fly at a steep angle of 70 to 80 degrees if needed. To ensure the Gripen lasts for about 50 years, Saab made it with low maintenance needs. Important parts like the RM-12 engine and PS-05A radar are modular, making it cheaper to operate and more reliable. The Gripen was designed to be adaptable, so as technology gets better, about 67% of the aircraft comes from Swedish or European suppliers, and the remaining 33% is sourced from the US. Saab emphasizes technology sharing and partnership with export customers in the Gripen program. They usually tailor the Gripen to meet customer needs, involving local suppliers in the manufacturing and support. In South Africa, several firms contribute components and systems for their Gripens. Operators also get access to the Gripen source code and technical info, giving them the freedom to upgrade and add new equipment to the fighter. Some countries plan to build the Gripen domestically, and there's a suggestion that Brazilian manufacturer Embraer might produce Gripens for other export customers, too. Thanks for watching. What do you think of the capabilities of the Gripen fighter? Is it formidable enough to earn Sweden a NATO membership? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.